we are checking that uh, whether any data is up and running, that we can check by cat space slash etc slash or a tab. Or a tab. Yeah. So this will show you the late databases which are configured with the, the uh, environment. But the only difference is that, or only drawback is that, if you are, this entry will be added only if you are creating a database using or a, a using DBCA. You got me? The entry to okay. the Oracle file is being created when you are running the root data search on the first Oracle form. Mm -hmm. I think that we have multiple um, Oracle forms are there. So when, when you are running the root data search on the first Oracle form, the Orata file will be created. Then this Orata file will um, get populated or get, get added with the entries whenever you are creating a database. Uh, using DBC, then they will be added automatically. Okay. Later point of time, suppose if you are creating a database manually, manually in the sense there are two ways of creating the database manually. One is by using the DBCA utility, or else by using the pure SQL plus command. So, if you are using the DBCA in the silent mode, still the data entry will be there. But if you are creating the database manually by using the SQL plus command, the entry will not be there in the data file. At that time, we have to make an entry to the data. So, how that entry will be coming is that, or a tab consists of the first, uh, there are three columns are there, or three tabs you can see. First uh, column will be the name of the database. Second column is the uh, Oracle home for that particular database. And the third one is that indicates whether you wanted to have the automatic startup of the database or yes or no. So, if you are giving Y there, then the database will be uh, started up automatically whenever the server is rebooted. Okay. Am I clear? Now, um, to uh, start up the database, just set up the environment available by calling dot space or a env. Or a env. That's correct. Or a env is a script which is being, that also being copied. During the time of root data search, it is set up the environment variable for uh, accessing the Oracle. Now, give that FNT SC901. Connect to the database by giving SQL plus slash assist CB. What is that? SQL plus, small letter, SQL plus slash assist DB. That means we are connecting to the database space, you have to give space. Um, yeah. So, you are connecting to the database with the operating system authentication. That's what a, a slash assist DB means. Uh, you are connected to slash uh, slash means the operating system authentication, and assist DB means you are connecting to the database with the super user privilege. Okay? Now, start okay. up the database. Okay. Um, start up. Just give the command start up. Just one second. Sir, we will be seeing how to drop this database. So, the, the, the command to drop the database is, uh, uh, is drop database. So, just try to issue the command drop space database semicolon. Okay. No, no, no need for the name, specifying the name of the database. Because you are already connected to the database. So, in Oracle, there is no way to drop the database without a connection to the database. Okay. So, you are getting an error message that the database must be mounted exclusively and not open for this operation. Which means that the database should be mounted in the in a mod called exclusive mod where, where in which no other users are allowed to connect. Am I clear? Yes. Yeah. Now you can issue a command to um, uh, the following command that is alter system enable restricted session. Just see this is a yeah. Semicolon. 
Okay. Now we try to issue the command prop database. Okay. So um, certain books refer that uh, you can um, do this activity uh, by using the um, after, uh, uh, sustainable reflection. So it looks like that is wrong. So what we need to do is that we have to shut down the database and then issue the command startup mount the filter. So shut down the database. Shut down. Shut down space immediate. Yes, semicolon enter. So the, the command to start up the database is start up and the command to shut down the database is shut down. Okay. Okay. Um, start up the database by, by issuing the command start up mount restrict exclusive. Restrict exclusive. Yeah, before dropping the database, we'll see the files uh, of this particular data file, database and see after the dropping whether these files are there. So you can show the command, select name from uh, v$ dollar data file, from v$ dollar data file. Okay, so these are the data files are there. So just uh, uh, go through, go to the next window, and see whether the files are uh, uh, existing physically. So we can see that the files are existing there. Then I just type cd, come out of the directory. Enter. Yeah. Now go to the uh, SQL prompt window and just issue the command drop database. Drop space database. Okay, you can see that the database is dropped. Just give an LS an L on that particular go to that folder. You have that uh, there in the, your history. So you just, if you just press the, uh, press the upward cursor, you will go. Yeah, enter. Yeah. You see the, all the files are. Now just give cat a space slash etc slash or a tab. Okay, you can see that the or type entry are in this are still existing when you are um, dropping uh, using the drop database command. So we have to after the dropping we have to clean up that entry. If you are not further using, you can um, delete that entry from the EDC or type. But yesterday I was telling you that there is an option to drop the database using the DDCM. So when you are dropping the database using database uh, configuration system. The entry in the ORA tab also will be removed. Okay. Am I clear? We'll set one. Which entry should be removed? 
this entry is there in the last line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that is the information about the database. So that should be containing only the information about the existing database. Now, if MDS okay. 901 is not there, if you're using the PS hyphen, um, uh, PS uh, space, this is a command, PS space hyphen EAF. Pipe grep decimal. You can see that the database instance is not, not running. Because we have dropped the database, it will be to remove all the data files everything. Now, the next step what we will do that we will check whether uh, the database, uh, uh, the parameter file is still existing. So what you can do that you can just go to your Oracle home slash dbs directly. You can go to, um, you can exit from the SQL prompt. Go to that window where you have the SQL prompt is there. Yeah, exit from there. cd space dollar Oracle underscore home. Which will go to your um, slash data slash db home underscore one. Oracle, yeah, pwd, smaller term, yeah. cd dbs, that is the cd space dbs. Okay. This is the place where we will be having the um, uh, parameter files will be there. This is the center again, ls hyphen ldr, yeah. You can see that the parameter file of the database also removed from here. So in actual, the data, drop database command does all the, the following things. One is that it will remove the parameter file. Second, it will remove all the data files, control files, redo log files, everything. But it they don't remove the entry from the EDC or a tab file, which we have to do it manually. Uh, what what is the parameter file name? Uh, a parameter file name will be either init sid.ori. For example, in our case, it would have been init um, uh, fntsg90.ori. That's one format. Other format will be sp file sid.ori. That is sp file, uh, then uh, uh, fntsg901.ori. Okay. What time is PSN? I'm sorry? FNTSD. There are other ones, FNTSD. No, so there, there are some bad files which is used by um, the startup of the database instance. It is not, it is not okay. the parameter files. Okay. So, uh, is the drop data? Yeah, go ahead. Once we drop those, uh, or drop the database, we can delete these files off, right? That, that, that's, you can clean up it, it should not be deleting. Okay. Okay. So any, any questions on this? Okay. No.